I'm Kayla and today I am going to show you some parts of the saddle and how to saddle up your horse. But first, my intro. Thanks. Okay, so we're back with Apache here. Hi, Apache. And so we're going to go over the parts of the saddle. This is the stirrup, and that buckle is what keeps the stirrup up. This is the fender. It connects to the stirrup. This is the saddle horn so that if your horse were to spook or dart and you need to keep your balance, there's always something for you to hold on to. This is the seat. This is just for like if you wanted to hang something like a saddle decoration or anything on. This is what her, holds your cinch on and this is a cinch. This is for western riding. This is a western saddle. And western saddles are mostly used in rodeos and on a comfortable trail ride. And yeah. And this right here is just for a back cinch if you want extra su support. That is for a back cinch, and this is for when you're done saddling, you put the rest of this latigo strap in here. This is called a latigo strap that your cinch goes on to when you're saddling. So yeah, I will do a English riding tutorial and tack tutorial sometime, but for now this is what I am doing today. I am doing western. And so, I will show you how to saddle up. So, make sure you always brush your horse before you saddle your horse. And when you're done with your ride, when you unsaddle your horse, make sure you brush your horse down. We're going to start off with the saddle pads. I use a saddle pad and a saddle blanket. So, the side that goes on your horse is on the front of your horse and you line it up with the shoulder like that and then this is a saddle blanket it's kind of just for looks and I like it it's really cute so I also put it on uh, the length of the saddle pad where it looks like that Next comes the saddle. You put it on like this, you put the strap over, you hold it like this, you put it on your horse, and the same thing, match it up like with the horse's neck and the shoulder. You flip the cinch over and touch your horse on the other side first to let them know that you're going to drop the cinch so it doesn't spook them. And so, hi Jessa. And so over here we have the cinch and this goes on the other side of the horse. And now I am going to flip the stirrup over on the other side of my saddle just like that. Or you can put it on the saddle horn like that, but this stirrup is a little long so it won't do it as well. And then I'm going to bring this cinch over, like that. And next, I'm just going to grab this. And this, you can do saddling two ways, but I prefer this is the most safest way. You put the latigo strap on top. Do the cinch like this, so it's a straight line curving up. I'm going to give it a little tug, and if Hatcher does that with her head, because she doesn't like being cinched up. You put it through this little hole. Gotta 
make sure it's safe enough for you to ride in the south. And then again, we're gonna go up this way. And go up this way. You could go so many times depending on how you have your latigo strap, like how long it is. And then finally, you end with you pull it to this loop one more time. You take it to the other side of this ring right here. You push it in. It's kind of hard to make. And so that is the result. Some people call it a Texas T because it's a shape of a T. And, and to finish this off, you take the rest of your radical strap and you can put it in here or you can just let it dangle. But I don't want it to like mess with my horse's feet and it distracts them from their riding time or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and put mine in here just to be safe. And then when that's done, you flip the strap down. And then you want to double check your cinch, make sure it's tight. If the saddle is leaning like this, you push it off. And you just want to go around, check everything. the horse's knee if you can. Some people like to ride with one hand and western. Some people like to ride with two. I really don't care. <laughs> I usually have a habit of riding with one. But, yeah. And, and you just want to let your horse have loose rein, but not too loose of a rein. So that they ride comfortable, and when they ride comfortable, you ride comfortable. And then when you stop your horse, so you so try to soft, stop them as soft as possible, because if they have a bit on, some people think bits are harsh, some harsh bits are really mean. But as long as you know how to use them, 
they won't hurt your horse. And when they don't hurt your horse, you will be less likely to fall off or be bucked off. So, yeah, Patchy. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.